a dragon. Well, just like how Disney's remaking all the movies. Well, this is basically the disrespect to animation that we're basically getting now. It's not just Disney anymore. It's now DreamWorks movies are getting the live action treatment. This will probably make hundreds of millions of dollars because, you know, the Seep will go see the movie anyways. But did we really need a live action How to Train a Dragon movie? I bet the CGI would look great in that movie. But do we really need a live action version of a, this movie? Okay. Do we really need a live action adaptation of How to Train a Dragon? Okay. This is why a lot of people believe, this is, you know, oh, and most of this is to appeal towards those people who believe that animation is for kids, those types of people. Oh, you can't enjoy it because it's animated, it's for kids. Oh, that's why I've acted so it's not for kids, it's so stupid. Okay, but they're making this a big, big thing coming out on March 14th, 2025 as well. Okay. But do we really need this? No, we don't. But they're going to make it anyways. They're going to make this anyways because they want to appeal towards those types of people. And of course, people are going to see it anyways because that's how... You know, because again, when Lion King we make made $1.6 billion. Or Adam we make made $1.1 billion. Okay. But we do not need live action DreamWorks movies as well. Okay. Movies like Shrek will not work as a live action movie. Now, do we know how to train a dragon? Because probably it's the easiest DreamWorks series to make into live action. But we do not need any of DreamWorks' movies to become live action. So I hope this flops and this loses money and they never try this again. Goodbye.